people should apologize to Russell Westbrook. If you haven't been watching the series, the Clippers are playing the Suns, Paul George is out, and Kawhi Leonard is out. Kawhi played the first two games, but he didn't play game three or game four. Russell Westbrook has been fantastic all series, but especially in the absence of Kawhi. Do you know what he did today? He scored 37 on 17 to 29 shooting, which is 59%. He was also three or six from three, which is 50% from three. I think he had seven rebounds, six assists. And let me tell you, if you want to see some defense, watch Russell Westbrook in this series because he has been flying all over the court, playing some of the best defense I've ever seen him play, getting blocks. Like, he's doing everything. He is battling out there, trying so hard, and every single one of these games have been close and going down to the wire. Like, don't think that the Suns are just running away with this. They have not. The Clippers have been in position to win every single game. I did not like how people were treating Russ with the Lakers situation. I understand that he did not play well there. Like, that's a factual statement. He did not play his best basketball. But that's not what people were doing. People were not just saying, oh, he's not playing great. People were making personal shots at him. People were just taking it too far. And I don't like when people do that because it's like, He's still a person. Can we relax? I felt so bad for him because people were just so mean. And I'm not saying don't criticize players at all because like if they're not playing well, it's okay to point that out and point out, you know, the stuff that they haven't been doing great. But there's a way to go about it. And the way that people were treating him was just wrong. And it's just the fact that people were hopping on the bandwagon. Like it was cool to be mean to him. And I just don't think that's right. And now he's probably everybody's favorite player in this series because he has been cooking efficiently. Let's talk about it because everyone talks about he's not efficient. And I'm not saying that for his career, he's been the most efficient player. I'm not saying that. But in this series, he has been ultra efficient. Not just him, of course. Norman Powell has been amazing too. Terrence Mann, Mason Plumley, like the whole squad has been good. I picked the Clippers to win in six before the series started. Obviously, I did not know Kawhi was going to not play in games three and game four, like, because he was balling in game ones and games two. And it looked like they were going to win in six, in my opinion, the way that they were playing with Kawhi. But Russell Westbrook has been amazing. He has been shooting lights out from three. And that's another thing I want to talk about. Since he got traded to the Clippers, he has been playing super well and a lot more efficiently. And people seem to just ignore that. Like, it's a small sample size, but it's a big enough sample size at this point that he's clearly playing way better with the Clippers. Although he knows how hard he worked to get to this point, and obviously he knows he's a good player because he's in the NBA, you have to imagine his confidence was just like really low being with the Lakers because everyone was just hating on him. Again, I'm not saying he was playing like an MVP there, but it wasn't all his fault. And look how well he's playing somewhere else. Like sometimes it's about fit. We see players all the time go to a new team and then they fit way better and then the whole narrative changes around them. We all know Russ works hard, so maybe next time people want to be like extra mean, think twice because one, it's not nice, but two, maybe it's not all their fault as you're seeing it. Shout out to Russell Westbrook.